if this is the cartesian coordinate system in three dimensional space and this is x axis this is y axis and this is z axis and if we consider this as origin and if there exists another plane which make intercepts with the x axis y axis and z axis as a b a b and c unit respectively and if the distance from the origin to the plane is p unit then how to prove 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square equal to 1 by p square so today we will learn that Welcome friends, I am Sanskrit let's start lecture number 52 of our Theta Mason Geometry lecture series. So let's go to the blackboard. So here is the problem. But my humble request to you, if you directly come to this lecture, first go through my all previous lectures of Theta Mason Geometry, especially lecture number 25 and 28 because the concepts discussed in those lectures are will be used in that problem while solving. So, equation of a plane in intercept form is x by a plus y by b plus z by c equal to 1. That is lecture number 25. You just go through the playlist of my channel SSD capsules, then you can get the lecture. Okay, now the distance. This equation can be written as implies x by a plus y by b plus z by c minus 1 equal to 0. Now distance this is say plane 1 distance of plane 1 from origin so here we are going to use the concept of lecture number 28 that is distance of a point from a given plane so we just apply the formula the Cartesian form next page here 1 by a into 0 plus 1 by b into 0 plus 1 by c into 0 minus 1 by root 1 by a whole square plus 1 by b whole square plus 1 by c sorry whole square so here we have used the formula what we have learned in lecture number 28 so here just we simply put the value of G, uh, origin that is 0, 0, 0. So 1 by a into 0, 1 by b into 0, 1 by c into 0 minus 1 by root over this. So actually this equal to p because it has been told or given in the question that is, is that the plane is at a distance of p units from the origin. So now here if we Square the terms of both sides we have in our hand 1 by b square plus 1 by c square equal to p square p square so implies take green 1 by p square equal to 1 by a square plus 1 by b square plus 1 by c square so proved so we are done. So it is a very easy problem but a tricky one. Just you have to use the concepts of lecture number 25 and 28. So hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you want to learn about the concepts of skew lines then check out this video and if you want to learn the concepts of three dimensional geometry without pen and paper then check out this playlist. Thank you for watching.